and in spite of you, they did a wonderful job with that mission. <laughs> no, you did, you did a great job putting that part in. That was really, really well done. And um, when you're playing, you can't always hear yourself, or certainly the overall sound, but I'm telling you, it was good. <laughs> So listen up while you're playing. And um, I spent about three hours this morning thinking about a very special friend of my friend here and myself and pretty much everybody that plays the trumpet nowadays. Um, He has cancer. That's not fun. That, that's a real drag. But is there something we can do? If, if you're a friend of his the way we are, uh, it's very personal. Very personal. And the three hours I'm referring to today, I was sitting upstairs in, in my room waiting for him to leave town. <laughs> He's still here, I think I'll go back up. But uh, <coughs> um, the thought of uh, Mr. Anthony came to, to me. Uh, we thought a lot about it. And you can think and think and think and get nowhere, except it just becomes more apparent. Now, a lot of you are very young. The word cancer isn't that personal to you yet. Although there may be some of you out there who have lost a parent or a brother or a sister. And it's no joke. It's a serious matter. And I, I, I was very disturbed. I sat there for three hours thinking about it and uh, wondering, well, what, what can we do? Well, don't give up hope. A man who has no hope is through. That's it whether you're alive or dead. When you've lost hope, you've lost everything. You're gonna have millions of dollars if you have no hope, then you're a very poor man. 